Uh, the first time we went to Helen's father's place, she just went on and on and on about how odd she thought he was, but how she thought I'd like him. And I do. Uh, it's one of the things that she says she likes about me, that I like people and people like me. They think I'm gentle. <laughs> I never thought of myself as gentle before, but... Oh, and this bit. Right here. She likes this bit. This bit is one of the best bits of a man. She says, which... Oh, is a phrase that just about drives me insane with love for her and her nose and her smile everything. And our daughter Lucy was a cesarean. And there was a moment when Helen was in labor with her in which I thought she might have died. And I'm embarrassed of this now, but um, I went into the bathroom to change into my, um, the, uh, what do you call those? The scrubs. Scrubs. I went to change into my scrubs. And I had a bit of a cry. And, and when I did, I talked to God, who I don't even fucking think is there in the first place. But I told him to make sure that Helen would be all right, because I knew we could survive if we lost the baby, but I didn't think I could make it if Helen went and died on me. And it was a bit like talking to a painting or a mirror. I, I don't know, it kind of had that same effect, which isn't to discredit it completely, but it it's not God. Um, oh, and then the midwife called me over. You know, Daddy, do you want to see your baby be born? Uh, and and they've, they put up this tent. And I'm one of those people who never knows exactly where to look when people point things out to me. Like, uh, like I'm a kid and I'm driving along and mom says, oh, look, a bird or oh, look, a plane. And I just kind of smile and nod dumbly and go, oh, yeah. And I'm completely lying. So this is a bit like that. Um, and I mostly see the yellow of the inside of her stomach. And when you have seen the inside of someone's stomach, your relationship just goes to a new level. <laughs>